Hi, this is Rosie, and I am on my way home from work. I'm just a little bit north of Albany, along the Mohawk River. It's getting dark, but I do have a headlamp with me. It's on my wrist, but it will be switched to my head pretty soon. So, I know last week I spoke about snowboarding, encouraging folks for that, but I didn't want to leave out cross-country skiing because it is a very inexpensive way to get out there and enjoy the winter. So, I just wanted to show you my setup for this year's cross-country skiing as it was pretty inexpensive. First of all, I like to dress in layers. So I do have this Patagonia windbreaker, rain breaker, rain jacket. Actually got it at a thrift store for six bucks. Uh, I have a little headband on. It's warm enough for now, but I do have an old wood, wool hat in my bag. Got some lightweight gloves. I'm gonna close out 10 bucks Marshalls. And you really can't see it, but I have some really neat mountain hardware rain pants slash wind pants that I got at the Salvation Army the other day for four bucks. As far as my equipment setup, most of my cross-country skis are the older three-pin version where you have to wax them. I really do like that, but just for a quick cross-country ski trip at the end of a work day, it's nice just to have a waxless ski like this one. On this one, I've got a different kind of a binding. I think it might be called an N&N, &N, but I actually got these skis at the Salvation Army a couple of weeks ago for $2.99. Then I realized I also had an old pair of boots. I don't know if you can see them. It is getting dark. I had these boots. They used to go with an old pair of roller skis that I use. When I was a bit younger, I did some roller skiing on the road. Not something I'm too fond of now but the boots work perfectly for it. I packed the wrong ski po uh, poles in my car when I went to work, so I have a shorter pair right now. These are my downhill poles, but they happen to be in the car. They will work for me. It's not desirable for cross-country skiing. I do like something uh, that it is a little bit longer than a typical downhill ski. So it's an inexpensive sport. It's fun. You don't have to be super athletic to get into it. You can do it at whatever pace you want. It can either be just at a really slow walking pace or you can get a really great workout as if it's almost like running. Uh, right now I choose to be on the flats. It's a bike path right next to the Mohawk River. Once again, it's just a few miles north of Albany. Uh, nobody has been here yet today on this trail, so I will have to break trail, meaning I'm the one that is going to have to p basically plow through the snow. If I was here with a group of friends, we could have each taken a turn one after the other so nobody gets really tired. So that's all I have to say right now. I want to encourage you to get out there and cross-country ski. If you don't have the equipment, maybe you can find something in the Salvation Army. Maybe you can find something on Craigslist. I just recently found out about a place nearby played against sports and I'm sure you'll find other ways to get it inexpensively. This time of year you might be able to get some closeouts at uh, other places online. So let me just show you a little bit of a view of the Mohawk if I can get that. I'm trying. There it is. You can see a lot of cars coming across the bridge and you can see the trail that I'm heading out on. So I am psyched for that, uh, doing some cross country skiing tonight and tomorrow I am back to my weekend job at Iscaria. So get out there, do it, have fun, get off the couch. See you guys.